Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video of Jira service management, we will discuss about the feature virtual agent and what exactly the virtual agent is all about satisfaction set settings and the knowledge base. Okay. So previously we have discussed about the chat settings and how you can enable it. Then if we go to the virtual agent, this is basically the new feature introduced into Jira service management. And this feature is only available to the premium or enterprise users so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and cover the free or whatever features are available in the free tier of jira service management and then i'll enable a premium trial and i'll explain all about the virtual agents in a complete separate series of videos because i'll cover everything about the virtual agent what exactly it is how you can configure virtual agents and save your agents or the team members that are serving service requests hours of work okay so that is a separate topic now if we go back and see the next topic right so virtual agent we'll cover later uh, it's a premium feature then if we talk about the satisfaction settings now this is more of a customer satisfaction uh, survey or csat so in the customer service projects when you are serving the customers you would like to know how your customer service team is performing whether they have been able to resolve the queries of the customer how is customer feeling about the communication that has happened are is the customer satisfied or not so that is where customer satisfaction surveys or csat uh, collect uh, the csat feedback is important and it's available out of the box within jira service management so if you want to collect the customer satisfaction report you simply enable it right so you, at the moment it, you'll see that by default it was enabled uh, you can toggle it if you do not want to collect it but in a customer service in the service management obviously you would like to get that feedback so that you know that which agent or how is your team performing or how they are handling the customers right are they handling the customers well and the customer queries are getting resolved or not or is the customer satisfied when they call you in the company's call center or not right so this is basically if you enable this the when the query is resolved the customer will receive an email asking them to rate the experience and comment right so you just enable it and then simply they'll be getting this rating wherein they can go ahead and quickly rate out of these stars okay and then they'll be asked to provide a feedback as well there'll be a feedback or they can they'll be able to provide the comment as well how the overall conversation went whether their queries were resolved or if there are any is there if there is a dissatisfaction uh, that customer has uh, gone through then what exactly uh, he felt about or she felt about and they can query or they can provide those details into the comment section okay so this is basically how you are going to enable nothing much here it's more of you know if you go ahead uh, and see the whole form i'll minimize it you will see that this is the overall enable and disable that you can basically do for the csat within jira service manager okay so that's the csat score you can rename this okay so you can basically go ahead and rename the heading if you want to okay as well i'll keep it as is so this is about the csat now going back to the next one which is important knowledge base okay so we have uh, looked at knowledge base a little bit but then let's go ahead and understand what exactly are more detailed settings that you can do for the knowledge base okay now knowledge base first thing is you will be having confluence as a knowledge base for example right because any jira product and, and confluence wiki goes hand in hand so if you have your knowledge base articles into confluence you can go ahead and quickly link the existing space for example this is the one that will link previously uh, or we can create a space specifically for service management right from here okay so i'll simply click on create space and i'll say this is knowledge base i'll say knowledge base demo okay simply create it oh sorry i missed the lower part let me let me show you uh, what i'll do is i'll unlink this one okay so i can show you the other details as well so let me create a space okay i'll say knowledge base simply say rcv okay and you'll see that if you if i scroll below you will see the space key as well okay so if you want to change the space key you can change it here previously i just missed that i simply clicked on create so we'll simply go ahead and change the space key and then simply click on create and that space gets created and you will see the link available here now how do you know which particular instance of confluence 
is being used for this particular project right so you might have the i mean you don't know which confluence or what is the confluence instance that this particular space got created okay so that is basically available or that is one time configuration that will be done in your jira instance okay so how you can see which particular uh, where where this exactly knowledge base space got created so this is more of we go to the jira admin okay and let's go to the project uh, products and integrations okay so if we go to pro products and integrations you would see that we already have the knowledge base integration here okay so let me check if we have let me go to application links so you'll see that this is the confluence that i used by default when i signed up for the jira service management i picked up a confluence directly when i signed up okay but say for example i want to create a link for something else okay or some other application okay so i can provide direct application link okay or tunnel application link which is basically linked to atlassian self-management pro uh, managed products through existing application tunnel okay don't go into details of that one but then direct application is basically linked directly to atlassian products or external application okay so now this is for example i have a separate instance of confluence then i'll go ahead and simply provide the confluence url and i can go ahead and link it here but because i have signed up for the confluence and signed up for a jira service management and included the confluence product together so when i go ahead in the jira service management okay and i'm creating a space in the knowledge management then whatever confluence instance that with that is included as part of this instance when you signed up for jira service management that will be used okay so for example if we go back go back here to the knowledge base right so if we go to the settings here which will open the permissions for this particular space and obviously for the space permission you will see that if you have to do the granular permissions you will be required to upgrade but then i'll use the default permissions there okay so i'll say so this will you will see that all logged in user and then service project user by default it has been selected because i have created the space from here okay and then from this particular permission i'll simply say grant all users the permission okay so i'll say grant permissions and you'll see that this is the space right so now in this particular space i can go ahead and create the different pages okay so for example i'll create a simple page here and i'll show you different configurations in the knowledge base that will be really helpful for configuring your knowledge base for your organization so i'll say kb article one simply paste it KB article as a description just dummy okay and then I'll simply publish this page so here it will ask for the access okay anyone in this space can view and edit okay or anyone in this space can view only some can edit so you can basically change the space permissions accordingly I want to keep it to the default and I'll simply go ahead and publish it okay so it is published now so for example I want to keep this as a parent page and I want to create the child page below it say uh, I, I want to keep it like a kb articles and then below that i want to keep all the articles so let me rename it i'll simply say kb articles okay and then below that i'll create the child pages okay so i'll simply click on this plus sign on that particular page and i'll say how to article template i'll simply use it you will see that automatically the templates are being shown and i can simply go ahead and pick those templates within confluence right and then all the instructions I can go ahead and start typing in here the content okay so i'll say kb article one all right let's publish it and you'll see below kb articles i have a child page here i want to create another article i'll simply click on the plus sign against the parent and that is there and then i'll say this is troubleshooting article i'll simply pick the existing template so i don't have to go ahead and format everything within confluence right so you'll see that our default template is already there now if i want to change something i can go ahead and quickly change okay so i'll say troubleshooting article one publish it so two of them are there okay now what i'll do is now you can also tag these articles okay so for example you can provide the the tags okay so let me go below here okay and you can label right so you'll see that automatically label kb how to article is there okay i can also say i want to add this faq tag there all right for this one and 
then for troubleshooting as well i just want to say okay i want to add faq because based on these labels you can configure this in your service management okay so i have labeled some article that these are also faq and then these are also troubleshooting so accordingly i can then go ahead and configure the articles that will be showing shown up okay so now i have just added couple of articles in there okay now if you scroll down here okay so knowledge base linking we have done let me unlink this previous one okay i don't need it this is the new space that i got created configured everything in confluence i just created sample articles as well added the label as well to these two articles okay now if you scroll down here you will see that these are the suggestions basically these are the control suggestions on the forms that are there now these are the forms request forms that the customer or the end user will be using to request something now on these forms you as a jira service management administrator project admin can control what a customer will see okay how you want to filter so uh, do you want to suggest something you want to allow suggestions on this particular form you name enable or disable you toggle that on or off by default you will see everything is on now say for example in the ask a question request form i only want to show articles that are labeled with something okay so i have done the label faq okay so i'll start typing in and make sure that if you go ahead and simply go ahead and click on this drop down nothing will happen okay that's a that's how it is designed designed so you go ahead and start typing in and you'll see whatever label i have used in confluence will start showing up so i'll simply say okay get me all the articles that are labeled as faq on this ask question re request form okay similarly i can also update you know things here so i'll say okay i want to show faq here as well if i don't want to see any of the those question or article suggestions here i can toggle this off okay or i can filter accordingly all right so this is basically how you are going to configure now once you have configured okay you will see this is all done now if i go ahead and click on this ask a question link all right so i need to go to the customer portal not this one so i'll open this portal okay so there was a ask a question right so if i go ahead and click on ask a question and then simply click on ask a question so i started typing in something right so you'll see that i started typing in troubleshoot and you'll see that troubleshooting article one started showing up right suggested article so this is basically what will happen or how you are going to configure okay now if say for example i start typing in faq all right you will see two of those are available here okay so this is ask a question now there was other portal or other portal wherein i haven't enabled this okay so only show articles labeled this is shown there right so faq so that is why two articles are being shown here because these are the only one that are labeled like that faq that are labeled faq okay if there are more articles now for example service request rcv online okay let's go to that request type okay so service request rcv online service request okay this one I'll click on that and say for example i start typing in faq so here because i have enabled okay allow suggestions is enabled but i haven't used any of the filters right that means if, even if you don't use any of the filter so any article that is there will be available there okay so let me do one thing let me do one thing to make it really really clear so let me add another article here and that article i won't tag with faq okay or put the label as faq so i'll say article 2 let's publish that okay so there are three articles right in the kb article now here if i simply go ahead and refresh this portal okay let me reload and now because on this portal i haven't filtered the articles right so all three should be visible here okay so if i start typing in something okay say i say type in faq okay so you'll see if i start typing in articles right so you'll see kb articles how to articles troubleshooting articles multiple of them are being listed here okay if i just say faq because the tag is there in the uh, to FAQ article that's why they are, it is filtering by default because of that search tagging okay but if I just say articles you will see that it is picking up all different articles right so KB article troubleshooting article and article okay now if I go back to the portal wherein only filtering I have available okay or enabled 
So if I go back to the portal and where I enabled this filtering, ask a question. Okay, so let me go there and I'll simply go to the ask a question, click on that. And if I start typing in articles, say for example, you'll see still I only get KB article and troubleshooting article are not the third one, right? This is because I have filtered, I have created a filter only show articles that are labeled as FAQ in this particular case. Okay, so this is briefly, I wanted to show this segregation, wh what exactly this field is and how exactly it is going to operate, how internally Jira handles everything, okay, within this particular, when you label the articles accordingly, how it will show up in here. Okay, so you can clearly see the difference when you enable this particular feature and also have the label in the articles and then also enable the labeling here against a request. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.